Hey guys, welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. In this video, I'm mainly going to be taking a look and kind of talking about the stealth changes. We're, we're specifically going to mainly focus on Zeratul, but I'm going to reference the other ones because, you know, they did give some changes, just not as many changes or significant changes, I thought, as to Zeratul. Um, so, with Nova, they added Snipe Master into her base kit. That's now a thing in her kit now. They actually added more the 10% damage to Hollow Decoy. They also um, gave some changes to her permanent cloak and giving her baseline extra movement speed while she is stealthed. And uh, they added more movement speed and mana regen for advanced cloaking they uh and perfect shot is there now where it just reduces the cooldown if you hit an enemy with it so you can be able to just keep doing sight master over and over uh they made it where decoy can do even more damage that's insane that's crazy uh ionic force field where you can actually gain armor after you lose your stealth this is an interesting <coughs> one though <coughs> excuse me at level 20 look at this you reduce the cooldown of your trait by two seconds to one second. So you just have to wait one second and you'll go back to stealth. That is incredible. Wow. Uh, certainly uh, makes it makes that interesting, doesn't it? Somaro, he, uh, his trait now is also called Image Transmission, where he can activate to switch places with his target mirror image, removing most negative effects from Somaro and the mirror image. So crowd control stuff can be removed if he just uses this to switch to his mirror images. Uh, I believe that's like one of the major changes here. They did, uh, they kind of changed some of this. Obviously, Windwalk being his stealth thing here. Um, stealth for up to 10 seconds. Yep. They changed how some of these are, mainly in terms of how it affects either the mirror image or... Or Samuro himself. Um, but for the most part, he's he's kind of pretty much the same. 40% uh, for three seconds after exit. Yeah. Um, Valera, she had stuff kind of added into her base kit. Um, such as if she does cheap shot, it will also blind an enemy. Um, they kind of changed how vanish works they made garrot i think stronger they increased like the duration of the silence they so they changed some of these things here uh and yeah increases the duration so uh that's just now baseline now and they mm, Increases the movement speed. Yeah, so they kind of moved this down to 20. And where was the other one I saw? No, never mind. I thought they had a... Uh, for, for five seconds. Huh. So they got rid of the one that reduces the cooldown. Just had Elusiveness move down to 20. And some other subtle minor changes. Uh, so that, that, those were for those three. But Zeratul, however, though... Very interesting changes for him. Uh, for one thing, they took um, a Vorpal Blade out of level 1 and just put it into his base kit on the number 1 key. So that's now a thing for him. Uh, of course, Permanent Cloak. Of course, the stealth changes. They've changed one of his ults now. It's called Might of the Nerezim. Look at this. 30 mana, 20 second cooldown, activate to cast an untalented version of Zeratul's most recently used basic ability, dealing 50% less damage. After using an ability, Zeratul's next base attack within 6 seconds deals 40% more damage. So they removed that, so obviously now you can be able to do some of these. Gain movement speed while stealth. 25% movement speed while stealth. That's pretty nice. Um, obviously everyone always took Vorpal Blade. I think now Move Unseen or Shadow Hunter will be the way to go, where you just lower the mana cost of Blink and reduce the cooldown of Blink, or Move Unseen because movement speed while stealth it is pretty good. Um, but keep in mind, though, the stealth changes, it's going to make it very easy for you to be seen. 
Uh, level four, they added Darkness Ascends, which this is this looks like the ult he used to have the image anyway. Uh, increased damage dealt. You increase your attack speed. Basically, that's what the ult used to be at level 10, the other one, but no one ever took it. Um, level 7, Vorpal Blade gains a second charge. Causes their to deal 30% more damage. That's going to be this is going to be very interesting. I cannot wait to see how other Zeratul players react to this. Uh, this is pretty much the same tier, the same as before. And level 20, this is where things get interesting. Resets the cooldown of all basic abilities. Shadow Mage, heal for 75% of spell damage dealt to heroes. Let's take a look at the new Zeratul in action. I don't know if I'll be able to show you how stealth works from this perspective. I think I could only show you how it looks different now if there's a stealth on the enemy team. But I might be able to this is gonna be it's gonna look silly, but I'll probably just try and show you how the structures work now in terms of uh revealing stealth. So basically I wouldn't be able to as Zeratul go kill a murky or an or an Abathur under a tower. So let's see here. Hmm. Are you ready to meet out justice? There are see on this map, I would want to go Shadow Hunter because there are a lot of regen globes on this map. Hmm. The battle begins in Basic attacks reduce the cooldown of blink by one second. But this is the new talent. So let's go ahead and pick this and see how it works. Oh, look how fast I move now while I'm stealthed. Well, so when I'm mounted, it's at 130. When I'm not mounted, it's 125. So I'm almost moving at mount speed while I'm stealthed. That's pretty awesome. Don't expect much, by the way. <laughs> There's a reason I don't really play high-level stealth heroes like Zeratul. But I will say, Zeratul is like the only stealth hero that ever sees pro play in HGC. And I can understand why. I mean, after all, his mobility with Blink just gives him so much uh, different capabilities compared to others. I really should... See, I'm gonna have to now get used to the fact that Vorpal Blade is on is like already on one now. Then again, you could have chosen it on one before, so that just shows my inexperience of playing as Zeratul. Here we go, Vorpal Blade to go to Alkstraza. And I'm in trouble here. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm not in trouble. There we go, and then whoop. Of course, that there was that was unnecessary, but as I said, that kind of shows my inexperience as a zero tool player. Whoop. I'm am I in trouble? No, no, I'm 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 okay. I'm okay. Let me hearth back, get some health. So let me see if I can be able to show you what it's like for a stealth character now if you try and go under an enemy fort. If they had a murky egg or an abathur there, could I be able to go over there? No, not really. Let me show you. I do like that I can do that, but see... Now, if you thought, well, that's because you revealed yourself. No, 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 no. Let me see. See, I'm stealth now. And see, it immediately sees me and starts to attack me. So you won't be able to do that anymore as a stealth hero. That's how stealth works in the game now. No, well, thank you, Stukov. I've got you, Zagara. Oh! Ah! Okay, I'm going to have to also get used to my number two key now, having Darkness Descends. Alright, I pressed two. 
Let's see, can it work? Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. I killed Tracer as well, but Alex, no, no, Tracer killed me, apparently. We killed each other. And if you're wondering, uh, we are going to try out the new ult, though obviously I'm not saying right off the bat that it's better than Void Prison. Void Prison is still one of the best ults in the game. There are so many great ways you can be able to utilize Void Prison. I don't know how many great ways you could be able to utilize the new ult, but hey, that's what testing is and practice is for. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I forgot that I, uh... <laughs> that I get revealed by the... I was like, I'll go through here. Nope, I forgot. It reveals me. Alright. Warp Skirmisher. This is the new one. So now it gets a second charge. What was the rest of ha what it said? To enemy with Vorpal Blade now causes Zeratul's next basic attack within 6 seconds to deal 30% more damage. Which I guess combined with other things, they're going to make it where you can be able to really empower your basic attacks. Now, can towers reveal me, though? No. So these towers cannot reveal me. Only the forts. There we go. Look at that crit damage I just did for using my Vorpal Blade charge. Increase my attack speed. Of course, once I get Mending Strikes at 13, I can definitely see how this would uh, be really beneficial. Since it should increase my healing as well with all this extra buffing that I'm doing to my basic attacks. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. That feels nice. Alright, here we go. Might of the Nerezine. Look at that extra damage it's going to do to my basic attacks. So it's not an activatable one. It's just a passive. Interesting. Ah, it was used on the minion. Alright, let's blink away. So that... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Hold on. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It lets me be able to use my ability again. Gotcha, that's another way to get an extra charge of Blink. Yep. Uh, Zeratul skills. He's uh, still squishy. Gotcha. That's something I'm going to have to pay attention to. you got to make sure that you know what your last ability that you used was in order to see whether or not you get another version of that. If you want to be able to do a double cleave or a double uh, singularity spike or an extra charge of blink. Another way to increase his mobility... <laughs> As if Zeratul needed that with the way his previous iteration was. Increase my attack speed. There we go. Oh, yeah. that All those extra charges. Really enjoyed that. Extra charge to blink. Oh, I did it. Oh, but then the mains are going to kill me. Ah. Man, having 
two charges of Oracle Blades, having a blink plus another poss possible charge of blink with Might of the Nerezim. You're going to have a number of different ways to blink around. It's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun. I can already tell a lot of people are going to want to be doing that. Look at that. All right, level 13. Now we get mending strikes where the I will heal for my basic attack stun, which as you've been seeing with all the extra crit basic attack damage I'm getting, that should increase the amount of healing I'm giving to myself as well. Here we go. Ah, I totally mistimed that. how he does taking a camp with these new buffed up camps look at that attack speed there get that crit damage when you use an ability oh man I can definitely see a build where you are using abilities to empower your attacks. I can definitely see a build like that. And there's a dead tracer. Oh, that is what it feels like to play squishies when you are playing against a Zeratul. That's exactly what it feels like. I'm like, oh, Zeratul was right there. But obviously Zeratul's, and this is something I have to uh, learn and teach myself, and that's to better have a better minimap awareness pay attention to when you see an isolated hero and then try and see if you can look for an opportunity to take them down like this Ugh. all right let's see if i can uh oh <laughs> alex straza where are you there you are there you are, my dear. Nope. Alright. Bye. Whoop. Look at that. Two charges of blink. It's like, I can definitely see myself getting used to that timing there. Hello, Sonya. Once I use my uh, increased attack speed, she's got no chance. And then, of course, you got my movement speed when I'm stealth. Look at that. It, that's almost mount speed. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't know. This, this seems like it could be actually be a more viable choice than uh, Void Prison in the regard if you want to give yourself more mobility and blink charges. This is definitely... Uh, a good ult for you. The fact that this is able... Huh. And the fact that also gives you more extra basic attack damage. Now, I don't know... I can't really tell if this is stacking with this. I would like to think it is, but I, I, I'm not really seeing it. I would like to think it can, but maybe they would think that's too overpowered. Zeratul, not Nazebo. I was like, I'm Zeratul. There we go. Look at that. Oh. Oh, that feels good. Deals bonus damage. Cooldown by three seconds. Uh, let's go with Master Warp Blade. Like, I'm, I'm just thinking about this, like, 
empowering basic attacks build. Like, that should do a ton of crit damage against a high health hero like a Sonya. Or even a Varian. Oh, look at that extra crit damage I did on Sony there for just staying on her with my basic attacks. Like I'm gonna be, I'm probably gonna be wanting to play more Zeratul now. This is this is fun. Of course, I'm playing against AI, so obviously I think some of these times I'm probably gonna get, end up getting killed. But let's just say that I'm kind of. There are times where you want to do this and you just want to have fun and enjoy it. Sonia, come out of there and play. Oh my goodness. Woo! Oh, that extra Vorpal Blade charge. Oh, that even works against structures. Look at that extra crit damage I did to that structure. My goodness. Hello, Sonia. <laughs> ah, that seemed fun. Look at that hero damage I did from all those empowered basic attacks. So yeah, I didn't really get to show... I guess this is not really the best way to show the stealth changes. Other than showing you that it reveals you. Because obviously I can't really show you how it looks unless there's one on the other side. But basically now they've made it where... It's going to show an outline of the hero if they are moving while they are stealthed. If they remain still, they go invisible. Oh, look at this cute reindeer spray I got! Oh, that's cute. What's the next event? Five games and you get a Wintervale War Banner. Okay. I'll tell you what. I was liking that new version of Zeratul. Might of the Nerezim. I mean, I still think that they're going to be... Void Prison is still fantastic. But I think if you like utilizing all those Blinks and Vorpal Blades, oh my goodness, this is going to be another way to be able to do that. Oh, that seems really good. Uh, level 20, I probably would have taken Shadow Mending because I was wanting to see, like, uh, how much spell damage I'm doing with those abilities. Like, does Cleave and Singularity Spike, does that count towards this? Is that yet another way for me to be able to heal myself? But the fact that this actually... This is a rewind. This is rewind. That's what this is. Twilight Falls. Resets the cooldown of all my basic abilities. That is a rewind. So if you still like to use rewind for Zeratul, it's right here. But you have to take this. You can't take Void Prison and then take rewind anymore. You can't do that. You have to take Might of the Nerezim and then Twilight Falls if you want rewind. But with all these extra ways to be able to give you these... Um, such as the extra Vorpal Blade Charge... My there seemed like you have an extra blink charge. I think you could do that. Now, let's just say that as someone who doesn't really play stealth all that much and plays other squishy heroes that is tired of getting ganked from Valera, Nova, that I'm hoping this is going to make things a little bit more even. But the fact that they did kind of buff some of them, you know, to make up for the fact that they're more visible now could be even worse obviously this is the first day it's happening so we have to wait for some time to go by to figure that out but uh this new zero tool man i can i can definitely see people using him a lot more often i think he'll be continued uh to be a strong viable choice in hgc 
I don't see the other stealth heroes being a viable choice, but Zeratul, I mean, if you want to see him used in pro play, watch the South Korean teams. They use him all the time. And it's, it's a beautiful thing to watch them use him uh, at his uh, fullest. But uh, that was fun. And I think I may want to try out Zeratul some more, in, in, like in a quick match and such. But that's like some of the notable things. Uh, obviously, big, big changes today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to try some of these out. Obviously, I have to do placement matches for a new season. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are looking forward to having some fun in the Nexus. I'll see you guys when the next hero or next big patch comes out.